Hi. With MRP Easy, it is possible to manage your multi-level bills of materials and multi-level production with efficiency. For MRP software, a multi-level product is simply a product that includes other products. Therefore, in a multi-level product structure, each subassembly or half product is considered a separate product in and of itself. Setting this up is simply a matter of defining the subassemblies as separate items with their own bills of materials and routings and then including them in the final product's bill of materials. In the bill of materials of a subassembly, we enter the direct parts or other subassemblies of which it comprises. In the routing of a subassembly, we enter the operations that are required for its manufacturing. When entering your final product bill of materials, you just choose the direct parts and subassemblies that are part of the product, and the software automatically connects the dots and understands how different levels are connected. When entering the routing for the final product, the same logic applies, only the operations that are necessary for assembling the direct parts and subassemblies must be defined because the operations for making subassemblies are defined at the subassembly level. In MRP Easy, when scheduling a multi-level manufacturing order, the software first checks if you have any of the necessary subassemblies already available for use. If you do, then these are booked for this manufacturing order, and the production of the subassembly is not included in the manufacturing order. However, if you do not have the subassemblies available in stock, then the manufacturing operations and materials requirements are included in the same manufacturing order of the final product. This is what we call a multi level manufacturing order, where the subassembly's production is nested in the final product's manufacturing order. In the manufacturing order, you can see a separate materials and operations section for each subassembly, how many of each is required to manufacture how many have been made, and get a color-coded indication if you can start the manufacturing of the higher-level assembly. When using the My Production Plan for real-time reporting, it is possible to set which other operations, besides the specific assigned operation, a worker can see in the manufacturing order. Based on the worker visibility setting, it is possible for the worker to see only his operation and current assembly information, or he could be given visibility of the previous and next operations as well, or even visibility of all operations. If the products are quite complex, then it's reasonable to import their bills of materials and even routings based on the output from your CAD software. For example, if you make industrial equipment, you might have thousands of components and many subassemblies. Importing can be done from spreadsheets or by using the MRP Easy API to create a custom integration. As the first step, all the stock items for products and assemblies should be imported or entered, which can be done in one import. Next, the bills of materials and routings should be imported. You can import several bills of materials in one import. And the same, you can import several routings in one import. In this video, we described how to manage multi-level products and multi-level production in MRP Easy. To learn more about MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.